So um, I chose to do a PhD because I spent some time working in a lab when I was an undergraduate and I just really loved it. I thought it was the best thing ever. Um, in terms of what you get out of a PhD, you get a huge amount. You, you, you learn a lot about the field of work that you're working in, so a lot of a lot of theoretical background and a lot of experimental techniques and how to apply them properly but also you learn a lot of transferable skills. So, that, so the biggest challenge in any PhD is, is learning when things don't work and um, because most of the time in science things don't work quite in the way that you intended. It could be that the experiment just doesn't work or that the hypothesis that you think is right turns out not to be right. That's how science moves on. But I think particularly when you do a PhD, you, you become the world expert in your, whatever your area is. And that gives you the kind of confidence that you can then apply that. You know that you can do that kind of thing. You can apply it to many, many different areas. So I think it's a great career move, whatever you're intending to do. So my top tip for doing a PhD is to communicate with people all the time. So talk to your supervisor all the time, talk to other people in the lab find out what they're doing because you'll learn from them and also when things aren't going right make sure that you talk about that as well don't retreat and think it's all your own fault if your experiment isn't working talk to people go to seminars find out what is going on in the broader field as well because that that's that's very nourishing intellectually and it also means that you'll learn things that you can apply to your own work so communication is my top tip for doing a PhD